Okay, welcome to my BMW E36 325i. This is my daily project, and a never-ending project as well. So, uh, it is a manual now. When I bought it, it was an automatic, and uh, so I swapped it with a friend of mine, and uh, or a friend of mine helped me swap it. I've just taken my hardtop on right here, so... Uh, it's a lot quieter inside uh, the coupe right now, so that's nice. Or, yeah, I have been driving seriously all summer with the roof down, so uh, it's quite a difference to drive this car with with the roof. I haven't done it all summer, so uh, yeah. But it's getting uh, colder now, and uh, that's why I got the hard top on. So today I am going to a friend of mine to change the radiator on this car because when um, the radiator leaks I just fill it up with some water because then I can drive, I'm, it's a 30 minute drive but um, I'm going now and I think this car will survive this 30 minute trip but uh, who knows. Anyways we're gonna change the radiator so hopefully it will not overheat anymore. But. I am not going to film any of the, uh, the stuff I'm going to fix today, I'm just simply going to have you guys along with the ride today. We're simply just going to enjoy the E36. It's I love the sound of the... M50 B25, it's seriously the best. And now it's a man and now that the car is finally a manual as well, it's it's so much better to drive. It's like the throttle response is a lot different. It's much quicker, so I like that. And I just switched to the steering wheel as well, the MT2 steering wheel, and I love it. This is the by far the best steering wheel BMW has, has ever made, in my opinion, of course. I had this in my first ever BMW, that was an E34 525. I got that when I was 18 years old, so um, yeah, some good memories going back to having this steering wheel. I really do like it. I have just fitted a new music player here as well, and uh, this has Bluetooth and uh, yeah, everything you can imagine or everything you need and that is Bluetooth you just need Bluetooth so I like that and I have just chipped it as well I bought a chip on eBay and installed it just a few weeks ago or two th weeks ago I don't remember I don't know but oh fuck there we have a large trailer I need to get past that oh my god look at that Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've done a lot of upgrades to the car lately, and uh, I'm really starting to like it. The only thing now, like I said, I need to fix the radiator, so I hope it does not, um, it's just the radiator that's broken, nothing else. I was thinking maybe that it's the head gasket for a little while, but because the coolant just disappeared, but now I can clearly see that it is the radiator that it's leaking, so I'm hoping it's only that place it's leaking from. I don't know. Maybe we can go past a few cars there. If not anybody else gonna do it. Ah. legit I mean I can really I really like the okay what what that's a strange sound the fan is making a very strange sound all of a sudden it has never done that before Okay, it was a leaf. That was it. Okay. Okay, that's the ex <laughs> not that it, it didn't make my point exactly, but I really like 
old cars and like driving old cars and fixing old cars because I mean it's so nice to uh, like you get a real good relationship with a car after a while after you have fixed like a lot of stuff with it so with this also I just have fixed the heater in the car um, as well I haven't had the heater working all summer but who needs to have the heater on because it's have been warm all summer so I don't need it but now it's colder temperatures outside so now I do need it so I finally fixed that and I changed the spark plugs I added seriously I can't come up with anything I everything I've changed this summer but it's a lot and I feel like I've been working a lot on the car and uh, so yeah that makes it you like you and the car involve like you you develop a relationship after a while and I really like that and this is I don't know yet I will not say this for sure but I think actually this is the BMW I have had for the longest time actually so uh, I think I have I don't know I'm not sure but I had this I bought this uh, this winter the last winter and now it's winter in a couple of months already so I actually own this car for a year soon or yeah so uh, that's quite a while not for and I probably you guys are thinking what the fuck what are you talking what are you on about I owned my car for like four years but I have not owned a car for so long ever I had uh, I mean I usually have my cars like around three four months and then I sell them because I like I like to try different kinds so my first car was a Mercedes and I tried E34 E46s E39 E36 like this I tried a lot of E36s and um, yeah but I mostly stick with BMW my first car was a Mercedes and that's it but now I'm just sticking to BMW but maybe I'm gonna try something else in the future future I don't know but uh, I'm really liking the BMW It's really coming now. The colors on the trees are changing, and yeah, it's really coming together now. Soon it's winter time again. This car is sitting so good on the road. I just mounted some coilovers on it as well. So it's a lot stiffer and a little bit lower. It's not that low, but it's lower than it was when I bought it. So, um, but the main thing I wanted is wanted was to get it stiffer and it's really stiffer now. And that I can really tell when you're cornering with this car. It's very, it grips a lot. It grips very good. I have actually uh, some other tires on right now, which you saw, but that's because of uh, I've done a few burnouts with the throwing stars wheels, so uh, I just needed some new ones. I needed this uh, in the back just for now until I find myself a new set of tires for the rear. And for those of you uh, wondering, uh, in my country, Norway, um, it's a lot of rust on the roads. Uh, in the winter time no what sorry I'm tired uh, it's not a lot of rust on the roads what what am I on about it's a lot of salt on the roads they salt the roads to get rid of the snow on ice so when you salt roads uh, and you drive cars on there uh, that automatically translates into rusts you get a lot of rust on your car if you drive on the salt so I am not going to drive my car in the winter time this year actually uh, I'm gonna put this away and um, not use it and I will take it out when it's springtime again and all the salt is gone because I do not want this car to like it's not super clean I do know that it's not like a $50,000 E36 like or I don't know that maybe that was a, that was a very high number I don't know Anyways, this is a cheap car, but still, I do not want it to rust even more. So um, that's why I'm going to put it away, and I don't want to like 
ruin it this winter by like maybe cr banging it here and there, crashing it a little bit. So um, I'm gonna use uh, my E46. I think I have also a, my E46 320 diesel. I think I'm gonna use that. I don't quite know yet. I'm also looking. I'm gonna get that car, um, not this, but my E46, I'm gonna get that um, through a control so I can get plates on it this winter. And if I do, I'm maybe gonna try selling it and see if I can get anything for it. But if I can't get what I want for it, uh, then I will keep it. But if I get a good price for it and I sell it, then I'm going to look for a car which is 30 years uh, old or older than 30 years actually because then it's very cheap to own here in Norway so I am looking a little bit on really early models of E34 uh, like the 88 and 89 because we're soon into 2019 but uh, so E34 I'm looking a little bit on E30 but those are very expensive so I don't think I can afford one and I'm actually I, I never owned uh, I never owned E30 either but I never owned a E28 and I do really like the 5 series so I would love to own an E28 once so um, maybe I'm going to buy that buy myself an E28 at some point I don't know when but uh, I would like to own an E28 a time in my life and uh, that means soon. That's not a normal machine. That was pretty big and wide. How are we going to get past this? Now we are up in hillbilly country. I have a tractor behind me and we have this thing, these beasts in front of me. The car is not overheating though. That's good. I don't know if you can see on camera, but that large container on the back, it's some water or oil or something in there, and that's really, yeah, it's um, shaking, it's really getting shaked up in there. Hopefully that, no, okay, so there's a car in front there telling that you're gonna meet a wide vehicle, so I assume this will not drive in here, I hope it will, but. I, I do not want to drive past this and like have a dangerous situation. It can come cars in the other lane here really fast. But I still, I'm gonna keep second gear just in case I find a place where I can just, maybe here? Yes. Then we are past. Hey mates, you're driving a little bit too fast. Or maybe it's supposed to be like this far ahead, I don't know. Then it's back to enjoying the E36 again. Yeah, if you guys are, uh, if you are one of the people who actually wa are watching this video this far, I'm thanking you. And I then assume if you're watching this long, I am also maybe assuming that you are a subscriber of this channel. So I must thank you that you are a subscriber because this channel has really blown up in the skies. I mean, now I have like 24,000 or 25, 24,000 as we speak right now. Uh, 24,000 subscribers, and that's insane. It's re, it's it's so sick. So I'm really thanks, thankful, and I am going to keep uploading. And uh, you like making videos for YouTube is seriously my dream. I just want to do this all day long. I want to make this my life. I want to live of this, but I can't now, of course, because I don't I barely make any money on YouTube right now, but hopefully I will be big enough one day to live of this, but uh, that's not yet. But I do want to produce content and good content as well. So I hope you guys can give me feedback on what do you like? What do you not like? Do you think this episode is really boring or is it actually a little bit fun to like get the 
good, real good experience on how it is to sit behind the wheel of an E36 and me just casually talking. Or maybe you want me to not talk at all and just hear the engine sound and stuff like that. And um, But I am saying one thing to you guys. I'm really putting my ass on the line here because I look like a complete idiot with, with this GoPro on my head. And it's not even on top of my head. I have put some mounting on here, so... It's actually going down between my eyes and down over my nose and that's where the, the big GoPro is so a few people have given me some really strange looks while I'm on this ride but uh, I know that the video is going to be very good because you can hear my voice crystal clear because my GoPro is so near to my mouth and you're getting a really realistic perspective on the view of the, the camera so um, that's why I do like uh, use this angle uh, GoPro angle because I really like it myself I have made a lot of videos with the GoPro on top of my head and then you see like 50% of the screen is just the roof and uh, that is I think it's a lot easier to drive with but uh, it's not a fun to watch afterwards so uh, yeah I hope you liked the effort I put in to make like a a good video. You can see in the trees there it's starting to get like really autumn. It's now it's autumn. It's a lot of colors on the road and uh, yeah. Now I'm talking nonsense again it's not a lot of colors on the road what am i talking about it's a lot of colors on the trees it's a lot of colors so you can see it's a lot of colors on the trees it's really nice all yellow some is red yeah and we have the sun ah this is harmony driving the e36 2.5 liter against the sun in the Norwegian nature. Anyways, I think maybe we're gonna stop the video here because now it's, I assume it's already way beyond 10 minutes because now I'm almost there where I'm going. So um, yeah, I hope you guys had a nice time joining me on this ride. At least I had a good time driving my E36. I still had like four or five minutes to go or no, two, two minutes actually. And uh, but yeah, I hope you are subscribed to the channel and watch my videos. But if you are not subscribed, maybe you could consider subscribing and I will meet you in the next video. And uh, please give me feedback if there is something that you didn't like like at all in this video that it was pretty it was terrible or uh, it was if it was good. Look at all these colors. Wow. It's beautiful. So uh, yeah. I hope you guys are having a good day and uh, I will see you hopefully in my next episode. Goodbye folks, have a nice day.